Hey guys, this is an updated video on how to install ShadCN in a React app without TypeScript. So I have the ShadCN website here. I'll just go to Docs and we'll follow the Vite installation. So first I'll just uh, copy this first command. So I already have an empty folder here and I'd like to uh, run this here. Now I'll add a dot to make the installation in this current directory. I'll select React JavaScript and now I'll run npm install. So while this is being installed, I'll just clean up this structure. I'll remove the app.css file. Index.css also, I'll just delete everything. And in the app file, I'll remove everything and I'll just create an empty app. So here I'll add a button, call it default button. So now we'll just run this thing. I'll uh, run npm run dev now this is running we'll just copy this and i'll just open it here okay so now we'll have to install tailwind okay now if we run these two commands we'll get an error because a tailwind 4 version 4 is released but uh, we'll have to uh, install tailwind version 3 so here i'll just copy this thing and i'll open another terminal I'll just paste it here. Now uh, here after Tailwind, I have to write uh, specify the version. So since we'll be installing three, I'll write at three. Now if I press enter, yeah, this is done. Now we'll just copy this thing. The next stop I'll paste here. So if you don't write an add three, then uh, this command will give an error and this tailwind.config file won't be created and due to which uh, we won't be able to install chat scene. So now uh, this ran successfully and the tailwind.config.js file is created. Now here, uh, I'll just copy uh, these imports. Now I'll open index.css file and paste it here. And then in the tailwind.config file, I'll just copy this content line. I'll open tailwind config file and I'll just replace it here. Now this should install tailwind. So I'll just refresh. Uh, let me just, you know, stop this and I'll run npm run dev again. And now let's see. Yeah, you can see the tailwind default styles are, uh, you know, added. So our button changed. Now what we'll do is since tailwind is running, I'll just, you know, first uh, add some CSS here. I'll just write padding four, flex gap four. So then here after the chat scene is done, we can add the chat scene button. So then in the next step, uh, we have to create a tsconfig.json file. So since you are using JavaScript, I'll just create a jsconfig file. I'll write jsconfig.json. Then I'll just copy this entire thing and i'll paste it here so here actually we don't need uh, these two things so files and references we can remove so i'll just remove save yeah so the errors are gone now now this next step of uh, creating a tsconfig.app.json file we can skip we don't need uh, then i'll just install this types this is done uh, now what we have to do is we have to uh, open the wheatconfig.js file in our case wheatconfig.js file and here below plugins we have to add this this resolve I'll copy and I'll also import path Let's copy here and paste it here okay now this is done now the setup is done now I think we can install chat scene I'll just copy this open up terminal yeah i'll just go with default themes let's select neutral yes now there are some dependency conflicts so i'll use the use legacy peer dips to you know uh, resolve the conflict so i'll be doing that now this is done i'll just refresh yeah this error is gone then we'll just install the chat scene button so here, uh, again, I'll just, just select the second option. 
yeah this is done so it says uh, in the components ui a button is created so we'll just check and components ui button is there now i think we can use this button so i'll just import the button in the app file so at top here i'll import button and i'll also copy this save now we'll just see yeah this is a chat scene button so like if you we want to you know modify it also we can just search for a button here and let's try something let's add a variant of outline so if we add it here this should also work yeah so that's how you install a shared scene without typescript thanks for watching